Reality is simple. It is people who think too much and lack the knowledge of how reality really works that make it seem complicated and hard. There have been times when I was the one who overcomplicated the process of manifestation by getting stuck and dwelling over different questions. I lacked trust in the process. I thought too hard and tried to figure out everything just so I wouldn't make any mistakes. And a lot of us do this, but little do we know. This way we only hinder the process. Soon, you will realize there are no mistakes, rather proof of what you assume. My goal here is to inspire you to stop asking questions, stop doubting yourself and start creating the life you want, because everything else is philosophy and a waste of your time. You and God are one. God is one and is all there is, created everything from himself. He is the ocean inside of you and you are the wave inside of him. You will realize he loves you and wants to give you all you want. If you only knew how much he loves you, you would cry from joy. He created you of him as a vessel for his powers and all things are possible to God. He gave you conscious mind to use it to choose what you want and the subconscious to impress it with what you want by feeling the joy of the outcome. There is literally nothing you can imagine that God can't create. It is accurate to say the limit is only to what you yourself can imagine. Overcomplicating in this case means placing too much focus on the external reflection. Reacting to what you yourself have materialized unconsciously and focusing on unwanted is insisting on the current reflection. God didn't give you all of these tools to focus on what you don't want, but he did give you free will and it will come about. Proof for this are people who think of illness and how to avoid it, only to end up ill. Subconscious is there to impress it with what you want and not what you try to avoid. If you still believe external to be the real truth, then you will remain with those circumstances. Understand your surroundings is simply a 3D projection of what you are entertaining inside. Unconsciously, this means it is a reflection of what you have absorbed into your belief system. You have attributed the perceived limitation of your environment to yourself. The conscious mind is the masculine energy and it is a tool to focus on wanted things. The subconscious mind is the feminine of a man. Neville explains the subconscious mind is all powerful and is to mist the conscious mind and its focus. Their relationship is those of lovers. Just like you will go to the supermarket and choose what you will take home. In the same way, with the use of your focus, you constantly choose what you want to experience in life. Impress your subconscious like a lover would, only with that which you want to materialize in your life. Do not fear anything. If a thought is a good thought meaning it makes you feel good, then it is coming from God's source and you can fully trust it. If the thought is bad, it will make you restless, then it comes from limiting beliefs installed in you through your direct environment. These thoughts come from the evil source that leads a constant battle to fool man into thinking he is powerless. Don't believe those thoughts. If you choose not to believe them, you will not give it energy and you will win. You are aligned in this moment in time with hearing this because you are ready to wake up to the fact you are the creator of your fate. So far you have believed others to tell you who you are and it deluded you because they were projecting their perceived limiting installations onto you and you were running on it. Yet it doesn't make it true just because the majority swear by it only to materialize the evidence of their beliefs. Nothing more and nothing less. Each and every one of us is responsible only for ourselves. Dissolving the limiting installations means to focus the power of intention and imagination in the name of God to create what you want with full loyalty to your vision. God is abundant and wants to give you everything you need for your happy life here. He brings your thoughts to creation. He designed you and the nature of reality this way. The way to a good life is obtained through the power of focused attention and allowing it to color your emotional vibration. He is the one that knows you are ready to hear this and he brought you here. The Bible, the Quran, Torah, the Book of Tao are all books about thoughts and all explain. What we focus on, he, the Almighty, brings to creation. 
Imagine your life is a movie and everyone around you is you disguised as a different role, playing their part to the script you hold in your mind. Your freedom of will implies you are writing the script with your focused thoughts and assumptions, and you have submitted your focus to the desire in your heart. Famous psychologist Carl Jung said, When an inner situation is not made conscious, it happens outside as fate. He also stated, Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Don't believe the negative thoughts because they come from the unconscious, and they arise only to be recognized as being there. If you receive a thought that makes you feel powerless in any way, tell yourself I love you and it will fall off. Do not entertain it, but lovingly to yourself make it aware. This is an arising aspect of your subconscious showing up only to be recognized and loved, so it can be merged with your conscious mind. Give it what it needs and don't suppress it. Negative thoughts don't belong to you as they are a sign of poor faith passed on you by your surroundings or even family members, as most hold fears and are disconnected from the core truth. They unconsciously underestimate God powers. You are divine. You are a vessel for the all-powerful one. I beg you to not underestimate his design of you, nor his ability to create anything you focus on. Fears and worries are all an illusion. Worrying is manifesting that which you want to avoid. You were not created to use your mind for this. No one is doing anything to you. There is no obstacle outside of your control. You were doing it to yourself unconsciously, and the sooner you get this and own up to a voluntary creation of the life you desire, the sooner you will find peace in your life. We must turn inward to our imagination, the real reality, to script the reflection we can then perceive with our senses. Neville stated, Consciousness is all and all is consciousness. The only change required is realized through the embodiment of your desire fulfilled. To embody this feeling, you will need to ask yourself these questions. What do I want and how would I feel if I had it? Write your answers down. Play with it. It is your life, your movie. And according to Neville and my own personal experience, this is how to pray. Ponder on these questions curiously. Put your imagination into the service of your heart. If God says to you right now, you can be anyone you want, choose it, and I will give it to you. Who would that someone be? The best answer will contain the feeling of passion and joy. By not giving energy to negative thoughts, you will realize your heart's desire are your real fate, and limiting beliefs were only foolishly stopping you. Feel the shift inside your body. The feeling is what is shifting the state. Even if it doesn't come right away, you need to persevere. This is really all you need to do. It is simple, and all it requires is practice. Track your feelings. These observations will help you connect to your body so you don't run on autopilot. Autopilot is when we are unaware of how we are energetically showing up and what we are attracting for ourselves. How do you feel when you wake up in the morning? Set the intention for your day right in the morning. If during the day we react to our own unconscious manifestations we don't want, we are allowing them to persist. It is absurd. Embodying the feeling of your desire fulfilled is the way to turn your desired state into autopilot. You have been creating your whole life, and you really don't need a technique to do it. You were born with it. But you do need a way to get yourself into a feeling of already having what you want in order to receive it. Don't jump from one technique to another, one coach to another, looking for the secret. Using too many different techniques can make you feel frustrated. If this happens, just take a step back and be brutally honest. Have you been feeling and embodying the state of the desire fulfilled, or have you been frustrating yourself with variety of techniques? Embody the feeling and live from it as much as you can throughout your day, and trust me, it will become automatic. Trust God. He wants to give you all that you want and need, but you need to trust Him. He loves you unconditionally. It is easy for Him to create anything you imagine. Do you believe you can manifest? Do you believe God is within you and speaks to you through your heart? Do you believe that your imagination is the real reality? If you are unsure, it's okay. 
practice makes mastery. You are only convinced after you see results. Your willingness to try it out for yourself is all you need to begin with. Go to bed every night imagining yourself to be a master at manifesting and that you completely understand how this works. I promised you will be impressed with what is possible. Your mind defines form and the reflection has a delay. If you stay firm with your vision and don't doubt in the meantime, you have showed faith. That is all you need to do. All things come to those who embody the outcome. This resolves resistance and the law cannot fail. If you notice throughout your day that you are no longer in that feeling state of having it, don't get upset or doubt yourself and especially don't judge yourself. Instead, congratulate yourself for noticing, for the awareness you have, and get back into the state of your manifestation. Living in the state of having it is living your dream life. Therefore, it should be fun, not frustrating. There is nothing you cannot do or attain. If anyone says otherwise, don't believe them. If they say something is too hard or too complicated, don't believe them. Most are still in the dark when it comes to the nature of our reality, so stay faithful to yourself. Give it a decent chance to leave you convinced. There are infinite possibilities and they all are available for you to choose from. World is filled with people that react to the world and entertain the victim mentality instead of creating the circumstances they actually want. I am convinced you watching this is on the way to reaching true creator state. I know it is happening for you. I know because I see it in my imagination, the real reality. Desire of your heart is the intention of God to deliver it through you as you. Put your imagination in the service of your heart and start thanking God for what he wants to bring to creation through you. Take it with joy and gratitude as you remain faithful to your vision. Never forget that those who become aware their imagination is the real reality have discovered the core of reality and are on the way to master it. I have said too much, so I will see you in the next video, so be sure to subscribe.